Hi, this is Gina Carruthers with Following Titus 2 and Ladies on Track. I thank you for joining me for our devotion today. And I have my friend Alejandra with us today, and she's going to share her heart thoughts with us. But before we go any farther, I would like to ask you to stop by our website and visit our new shops. We have some new shops with product on it, and I'm really excited. You can get a prayer journal. You can get a sermon note taker. You can get four different versions of printed copies of Ladies on Track. So stop by and check it out. And if you enjoy today's video, please like it, share it, or comment below. Thank you for joining us. So today our scripture is going to be found in Luke 7, chapter 7, verses 9 and 10. And I'm going to ask Alejandro to read that for us today. So it says, When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned around and said to the crowd that followed him, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And those who were sent returning to the house found the servant well who had been sick. Okay, so Alondra, tell me, why was Jesus surprised by the centurion soldier and what was going on? What, what was happening? So he was surprised because, first of all, the centurion soldier was a Roman soldier. Not only that, but he was a Gentile. He was not Jewish. Right. So to have that such great faith, he was marveled by that. If we look back at um, back passages, we see that the, um, you know, the disciples that were with Jesus, their faith kind of stumbled a little and they yep. ate with Jesus. They slept with Jesus. They were with Jesus all the time mm -hmm. and their faith was still kind of like, oh Lord, yeah. you know? And this centurion <laughs> soldier was like, I know he can heal my sick servant. He had great faith. Amen. He had great faith. He was a man of position mm -hmm. and um, his faith was like kind of like what you said, greater than what the disciples, he just said, speak the word. Yes. And he, you can do it. Okay, this is one of the things I love about God's word is I've read this story just like you have probably read it. We've heard it preached over and over again, but I had never noticed that the centurion soldier is not the one that approached Jesus. Mm -hmm. He he sent his servants or his people to go talk to Jesus, to ask him to heal his servant. You don't even need to come. Nope. And he didn't even, he didn't go to Jesus. Nope. He sent word to Jesus. Yes. And so I think that's so amazing that his faith was so great and so strengthened that Jesus could do it. And yet he was, he was not an apparent follower of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So God can do great things through our faith. He definitely can. And I'm going to ask Alejandra to share a testimony in our closing today um, with you that will increase and strengthen your faith. So when I was reading this, um, when I was writing this, and just recently, the Lord has been speaking to me. So I have two brothers, and um, both of them struggle with addiction. And um, I was praying, and I was like, Lord, please, you know, let them... Um, go to rehab you know I'll give them that desire to go to rehab and you know get clean and you know start a new life and then um recently this thought came to mind and it was the lord and he can do it instantly he he can he can heal them he can deliver them instantly um and just like the centurion he his faith was great just how jesus healed back in you know the day when he was here in flesh he can still do it now right you know and it all depends on our prayers we are here to pray god faith prayers not small prayers god faith prayers and so recently my brother um he did not know that our church was praying and he just said he's like hey you know i'm i'm on day six of detoxing um at Thank home Jesus. and it was just you know, I didn't tell him we were praying. I didn't tell him to detox. I was, I've was i just been praying for him. The church has been praying for him. Mm -hmm. And I, I recently told him, you know what? I'm like, we're praying for you. And I know that God can heal you. And I know that God can deliver you from any addiction. So right. today I encourage you to pray God faith prayers. Just like the centurion, he did not feel worthy of Jesus to come into his home. He was not worthy of it. You know, but Jesus was you know, he was mag he was like um, surprised at his faith. And so we, I want to surprise God with my faith. And I know that yeah. God can heal my brothers and God can answer your prayers. So God bless you all. There's nothing too great for God. Nope. And my husband always tells me, if it's not so big that we can't do it, 
then it's not big enough. So mm -hmm. ask God, ask God what you will. Never stop praying for those loved ones mm -hmm. and God can do great things. We pray that your faith is increased today. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today for our hard devotions and our Ladies on Track devotion. If you liked it, why don't you share it with somebody, give it a like, and follow us at Following Titus 2. And we hope to see you again for our devotions.